Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing a possible, well, a little bit of a how-to. Um, it's kind of a how-to, but we're trying to kind of work it out ourselves as well. Yeah. We've got the Scotsman, which is a DC loco. As you're all aware, uh, my layout is DCC, so... We need to put this little chip, little tiny chip in there, inside the tender for the uh, the Scotsman. The tender is currently in the works. Uh, the little top door, the top part is off, and uh, we're currently following Hornby's guide on how to DCC a non-DCC loco. That's a mouthful, uh, which I will leave. A link to in the description. Um, right, let's crack on. All right, so we have the decoder out of the packaging, giving a nice little clap with our hands so that we don't cause any static damage to it. Uh, the first thing we've got to do is take the plug off the end of it because all of these decoders come for DCC ready locomotives, not. DCC fitted or non DCC. So essentially, how that works, how it's already fitted, it would be so much simpler. The DCC ready train, just to pop that on the socket, and it's good to go. You can go to Railmaster or whatever you're using. So we need to just chop that plug off. Careful with touching the PCB. You've got the wire cutters just to your right. Mm -hmm. Going in. Let's hope we genuinely don't need it. Cause snip. Wow, this wire cutters are cool. You probably got about two wires doing that. Four. Give me some force. Go on. There you go. Oh well, that is the plug that goes into any DCC ready train. So we don't need that. Bye bye. Okay, so the next step is to separate four particular wires that we're going to be connecting to the loco itself. It's the red wire, black wire, the orange wire, it's a little bit finicky to separate, and... The grey or green? It's the grey wire. I'm assuming the orange and grey wires are some sort of data wires. They'll be for functions. Yeah. Uh, and the rest, we don't need. So... We can actually cut them off. We're going to cut them down and insulate them. So basically isolate any kind of current, data, whatever, that will go through them. And make sure we get no interference. And then we'll move on to attempting to solder this to the motor. So, you've just soldered that part. Yeah. Um, to the third hand. Didn't realise that the camera wasn't on. Uh, so we've got, the whole idea is, and I'm not too sure how well the camera's gonna pick this up, but we'll give it a go. We're referring to these wires. Thank you. We're referring to these two wires as wire one and wire two. These have to be connected to the black wire on the DCC chip. Which is where? Which is just over here, oh, out of the way so it doesn't get damaged. All the wires have been stripped on that as well, ready for soldering. Then our red wire on the DCC chip gets connected to wires three, a bit difficult to pick up on camera there, and four. Then, and it's the part that I'm most scared of, there's a little orange transistor there. I think it's a transistor. Uh, the orange wire and the grey wire has to be soldered to that. Okay, so this is where we stand now. We have our three and four wire connected. And our one and two wire connected. 
Now we need to add the chip itself with these stupidly thin wires. It's gotta be thin, it's discreet. I'm really nervous about doing, but we're gonna give it our best shot. We're looking at it as worst case scenario. On this layout, a DCC layout, this train is a non-runner. If everything fails and we've done something wrong, then it's still a non-runner. At the end of the day, we haven't lost anything. And we haven't gained anything, but we haven't lost anything. So here's a quick update. There's the chip right there. And we have the orange and gray wires. Oh, I don't know if that'll come into focus there. There we go. We've got the orange and gray wires attached to that little transistor there that's on the motor. Now all we need to do is connect the red and black wires, which are there, to that one there, which is wires one and two for anyone who's still trying to keep track. And this is wires three and four. So we'll check back in when I've got those connected. Okay then, so not the neatest soldering job in the world, I'll hold my hands up to that. However, all the wires are connected as per the step-by-step -step guide we've been following. Uh, by the way, a link for that will be down in the description. Uh, so we've got the red wire there, connected just here, get that in focus, kind of. The grey and the orange wires you can see connected to that little transistor at the back. And then the black wire up here, I mean you can see my soldering joints. They're not amazing, but they're connected and it's enough to test. Uh, so we're going to jump into that in part two, show you how to program a train through Railmaster. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it all works.